Alrighty, gamers. Let's go kill Sweetheart. I, I mean, let's go confront Sweetheart. Yeah, that's better. Oh, man. I, I am kind of worried, though. I, I don't know why, but I, I am just a, a little worried. We now know the password. We're good to proceed. Or at least I hope. What's the password? Uh, sweet. Uh, jelly. Yes. Filled. And finally, donut. Yes, you said sweet, jelly filled donut. Come on. Hmm. Fine. And even the AI behind the statue is just like her. It's ridiculous. Okay. We have some gifts. Unopened presents are littered across the floor. Oh, there's like movement. You guys, you guys heard that, right? Or you guys saw that? And the music's gone. Oh yeah, it's like moving. Buckets of paint. And there's like a hole in the wall there. Uh, I guess I could be like opening those vases, but whatever. Got some choice goods for sale, patron. Well, we have a lot of money, so... Oh, you can hear the music. Ho <laughs> Uh, let's get some life jam. Uh, poetry book. Sad words strung together and flicks sad on a friend or foe. I think we're okay on that. Mango smoothie heals 40 juice. Uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get some of that. Tasty soda. 50% of juice. Oh, we got four of that. It's fine. Uh, chicken wing. Yeah, let's get some of that right there. Man, it's nice to be able to have 46 tofu, but also a whole bunch of money. Honestly. Oh, we can eat pickles here. Yeah. Heal up, even so I'm pretty sure we don't need it. I think I just did this. Um, what's wrong with this little critter over there? I... Oh, okay. Well, that fucking sucks. Okay, never mind. Sorry to freaking bother you. Oopsies. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we just gotta go down there. Actually, hold up. I do want to be Aubrey and actually break open this vase here. I have loved you since the first moment I laid my eyes on you. Please be mine forever, okay? Oh, these poor sprout moles and their inability to write. Lovely sweetheart, you are my love. Please visit my home. <laughs> it is ready for you. Oh, no. All right. Alrighty then. And we can save it here, so I I can kind of tell what's coming up next here, gang. Uh, okay, you know what? I was talking about this just now. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to, like, go over our emotion chart just one more time. I know that happy is better than angry, angry is better than sad, and sad is better than happy. But, um, yeah, so I was right. Speed is definitely higher on happiness. It, it sort of seemed like that just in combat. Angry is obvious. It's it's basically rage. Your attack is higher, but you're weaker. Sad, your defense and speed suck at. Actually, I didn't know that about the, uh, the speed part, but I did know that the defense was higher and that your heart your, or the damage you take from uh, enemies isn't just to your heart, but also splits with your juice. So I think I've got everything. Let's uh, Let's do this shit. Oh man, I'm so worried. I don't know why I'm like so worried, but I am. We finally made our way out. Whoa, what's with all these decorations? It looks like someone is about to get married. Uh oh, the show is about to start. Let's hide. Yeah, we're not al we're not allowed in those seats that we paid for last time. We didn't even pay for the seats. We actually murdered Sprout Moles to get those tickets. Welcome all, welcome all. Today is a most momentous occasion. After 42 seasons of Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts, 
It is now time to air our final episode. It <laughs> has has been a sp split. What the fuck, Splendorous Run? Thank you all for your viewership. Yeah, they can't write well, but they can sure use vocabulary. For as long as we have been on air, we have rigorously looked for a perfect suitor for our beloved sweetheart. And each time, regretfully, sweetheart was unable to find her one true love. But this time we believe that we have truly outdone ourselves. This is the moment to end all moments. History begins here. Dim the lights, please. I feel like whoever she did find is some huge creature because there was a lot of shaking here. There was a lot of, like, movement when we were underground. Please welcome to the aisle, Sweetheart's Perfect Suitor. Is it Pluto? Don't tell me it's Pluto. Who is it? Are they in the cake? Oh, it's Sweetheart herself. Wait, then where's the suitor? Yes, it's true. Now you've seen everything. The answer has been obvious all along. The only suitor magnificent enough for Sweetheart is Sweetheart herself. Yeah, there we go. God, that noise is so fucking annoying. Silence. <clears throat> Let us begin the ceremony. So she's going to end her show to marry herself? I mean, I guess. And I guess it still allows for Sprout Moles to, like, adore the shit out of her. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. <laughs> Sweetheart's marrying herself. That's so lame. Don't laugh, Kel. I actually feel kind of bad for her. Now, does anyone object to this holy matrimony? Speak now or forever hold your peace. In that case, by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Sweetheart and Sweetheart. You may now kiss the... I object. Stop this wedding immediately. Uh-huh. Don't do this, Sweetheart. This wedding is a sham. Loving yourself is one thing, but this is taking it way too far. Not you again. How dare you step foot back in here. Guards? Guards? We murdered them. Sweetheart, you're making a mistake. You can't just marry yourself. There's someone out there for you. I know it. Aubrey, what are you doing? She's going to send us to the dungeon again. Well, we can get out. We're stronger now. Hmm. You understand nothing, random hero fan. I was a young princess once. I, too, once thought there was someone out there or for me out there in the universe. But that's all in the past now. I no longer believe in true love. I'll never love anyone else ever again. The only person I'm going to love from now on is myself. Now, guards, seize her. Uh, hero? I don't think this is a good idea. Sweetheart, listen to me. You don't have to do this. What's this? Could it be? Hero. My hero has come for me. She's quick to go back on her words here. Oh, my sweet hero, I knew you wouldn't leave me alone like this. How you sway me with your words. Although it may be over between us, my heart has not yet forgotten you. I will give you one last chance. Marry me, hero, here and now. Do so, and I will let you and your fans live. Wait, what? I can't do that. That's crazy. It is crazy. Just like her. Ha 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 ha. Got him. What's this? You reject me. Again. But. How could this be? I. Don't. Understand. Ha 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 ha. 
Oh, uh, that laugh, bro. Fuck off with that laugh. Ew. Now you've done it. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. I see everything clearly now. I'll admit it. I was wrong about you, hero. I thought you were a worthy companion. But it seems you are jealous of me, just like everyone else. Yes. That must be it. My dazzling looks. My charming smile. My gregarious personality. It must be so difficult for you to even stand in my presence. Well, there is no need to despair anymore. I will end your suffering. Personally. What the fuck? Oh no, she's a magical girl. Farewell, miserable peons. I'll lock you up in the dungeon forever. Yeah, if we go back- Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, if we go back to the dungeon, we're just going to escape again. Unless we're dead. Well, then I guess we're not escaping, huh? Oh, uh, how do we want to go about this one, gang? I mean, we could just straight up attack her first and see what she does. Maybe we can get some emotions going on ourselves and just kind of see where it goes. Uh, yeah, let's go for that. Damn, this music, though. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. This is, uh... This is gonna be a fight right here, gang. It is going to be a fight. I'm gonna let my meter fill up. I'm not gonna use any of the, uh, extras down there. Okay, so she can do... She can do AoE attacks. That's that's nice. That's that's fantastic. But that is going to fill our gauge a little quicker. That did nothing. Oh my god, this fight's gonna take forever. And if I die at the end again, it's gonna take even longer. Oh, this fight's gonna be rough. I don't trust myself. I don't. I'm gonna be real with all you guys. I'm a little I'm a little concerned. Um, okay, so... Hmm. Not sure what we should do here. If we make her sad, she's gonna have the uh, advantage on Aubrey, but then... Fuck, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I mean, shun in the case that she is sad, but I feel like she's never going to be sad in this entire fight. Uh, I'm gonna make my... S oh, shit. No, I'm gonna have to make her sad. Fuck it. Okay, so Aubrey's now going to be at a disadvantage. You know what? That's fine. Fuck it. Who cares? We'll, we'll figure it out. Push comes to shove. I can make everybody here angry with uh, Kel's ability. And I am going to give him a bread so he doesn't die. And Hero, I'm going to make sure he stays alive so that... Actually, wait, back up. We can attack with him. And we can use fast food because it's an act first. There we go. Easy shit. We can hold on to our items that way. Okay. So she'll be sad, but she'll have the... She'll have the advantage, unfortunately, on Aubrey. But it's okay. We'll, we'll figure something out here. Damn, this music, though. It'd be, it be poppin'. It do be poppin'. Okay, so we'll, we'll use Shun. It'll lower her defense. Uh... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what I want to do. I guess we'll just attack. I guess we can piss off both Kel and Aubrey. Maybe that's not that bad of an idea. We can maybe go for that. We'll give it a try. Why not? I'll show you guys what I've learned. I mean, it's not much, obviously. All right. Defense is down. Oh fuck. Okay, we're all we're all alive. We're all good. No worries. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a risk having two of our guys be on the angry side, but it's okay. We'll be we'll be okay. Okay, and their attack rises while they're angry, so that's something else to consider. Okay. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. For now, I'm feeling okay. Though I'm going to need, uh, Amori is going to have to throw an item out here that heals hearts for, like, everybody. 60 heart for everybody? 
or the whole pizza. We only have one of those. We can do the cheese wheel. Yeah, we'll do the cheese wheel. I feel like that might be a pretty good one. Mood Wrecker. Swing that does not miss. Deals extra damage to happy foes. She's not happy, so we'll just attack. Uh, let's start using some abilities here. You know? On, on Kel. We'll do Run and Gun. Hero. Hmm. I don't have an AoE heal, do I? I don't. Okay. I probably should have changed out Cook before this fight, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay. I guess we can reduce her attack. Yeah, let's do that. I saw that. That, that was neat. The fact that she's sad means it's going to take some time to really, like, kill her, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be okay. You're not dampen my positive energy. Oh, shit. Now she's happy. She can no longer become sad or angry. Okay, so we need to remove... Oh, no. We need to remove... Oh, no. The angry statuses. That's gonna... Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, hero, my hero. Your smile charms my heart. I will make it mine. Oh, this is bad, bad, bad. Because I actually have no idea how I can get... I mean, we can make Aubrey happy. I don't know how I'm going to make Kel happy. Or just off of angry. We'll figure something out, I'm sure. Maybe maybe Kel is just fucked. You know, we'll, we'll just... We'll assume that. But yeah, we can use Twirl. And, you know, at least she'll be happy as well. But being sad, I guess, is the way to go right now. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Do I have a snack that can actually help here? I don't think so. I don't think I have a snack that removes an emotion. So I guess that's kind of where I screwed up. I, I didn't change out abilities. I guess if I die, I can just reload and then change the abilities. But I guess this is my, uh, this is my, my, my low point, I guess. Sorry, buddy. We'll, we'll make it work, though. I'm, I'm sure we'll figure something out. I'm going to... Uh, I don't know if we need to reduce her attack even more, but... Wait, toy. Maybe this is what we need. Inflicts happy on all friends. Inflicts sad on all friends. This is what we need right here. There we go. Okay. I didn't realize I had a, a an item there, so this is perfect. Meaning, using Twirl with Aubrey probably wasn't necessary, but it's okay. It's okay. So now Amori is depressed. He's going. He's going further down. I knew sadness would one day conquer all. All right, let's get some. Let's get some good attacks in here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, right here. Mood Wrecker is exactly what we need for this fight. All right. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. And we're going to have the release energy here. You dare raise your fists at me? Fools. You should be groveling at your knees. Or on your knees. Excuse me. Oh, here we go. Release energy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Finally, it's kind of working out a little bit. If not only slightly. Alright, 900. My beauty and grace is boundless and, everla and everlasting. Excuse me, it's a shame that you won't be able to enjoy it for much longer. She's ecstatic. Wowzers. Oh my god. I see you are still standing. Cockroaches are resilient, I suppose. Oh my god, she's going further in. Is she almost dead? Oh my god, she is. I did it right by making everybody sad. We're just like on the up and up. Yes. Fuck yes. Finally. Victory is mine, gang. Victory is fucking mine. I don't see how we can lose this one. 
Yeah, especially with that ability. Holy fuck. Like, come on. There we go. Wow, what a difference this fight was compared to Space Boyfriend. No, is this what they call defeat? I cannot accept this. I will not accept this. You're all nothing but a bunch of lowly peasants. I'm glad she doesn't have a second phase. 5,800 XP, let's go, and a shit ton of clams. Oh, yes. We all lived through a boss fight, finally. When did we get up on stage? How could this be? You... You're all nothing. How dare you defy me? Throw them in the dungeon. Guards! Guards! Oh yeah, they're scared of us now. It's over, sweetheart. The wedding is cancelled. No, I cannot accept this. Just leave me alone. The fuck's happening now? Oh my god. What? <laughs> my sweetheart. Oh, my sweetheart. How am I so relieved that I made it in time? You must stop this madness at once. Captain Space Boy? You... You idiot. I thought I told you to never show your face in front of me again. Oh, sweetheart. My sweetheart. My sweet, jelly-filled donut. Oh, okay, well, there we go. Please look into your heart and give me another chance. I should not have kept you waiting all those days. You. What are you doing? I'm sorry I didn't do this sooner. Marry me, sweetheart. Right here on this very stage. Oh my. This is all so sudden. How... 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 How romantic! Sprout Mole Mike, I order you to marry us immediately. Uh, yes, at once, my liege. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Oh, forget the formalities, Mike. True love cannot wait. Yes, my princess. Ahem. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you sweetheart and space husband. You may now kiss the bride. Oh, of course they censor it. It is pretty lewd. Oh, sweetheart. Let us travel the universe together and leave all this behind. Yes, yes, my husband. I will go anywhere as long as it is with you. Let us take leave, my sweetheart. We've been apart for much too long. Come, my ship awaits. Yes, of course, my dear. But first, there's one last thing I must do. Sprout Mole Mike, hand me the button. At once, my queen. Is she gonna blow up the castle? What is the button going to do? We won't need all this anymore. God, that laugh, bro. I'm ready now, dear. At long last, we can be together. Come, my queen, our chariot awaits. Well, this matches up with what that weird-ass figure in the dungeon, or in the basement, or under the castle, had to say that Sweetheart will go. She will venture off from this castle that she made her own. So I guess we can go back to that guy. Poor Sprout Mole. Honestly, all the Sprout Moles are just... I don't know. Pity. So much for a happy ending. I don't think that's going to end well at all. Me neither. I honestly feel like we didn't really accomplish much here. As, as well with Space... Uh, boyfriend, or Captain Spaceboy, whatever his fucking name is, because he basically just went back to her. We beat all that nonsense into him just for, like, a moment of clarity? Yeah, I guess this was a complete waste of time. But it was fun. Your bond with your friends became stronger. Everyone's follow-up moves improved. I'm down with that. Well, now there's a gaping asshole here. Nothing to do with it, though. Oh, let's dip the fuck up. Uh, what's happening? 
Oh, Basil. Hey. Oh, no. Do we have to go in there? What's the matter, Amori? Is there something wrong? There's a lot wrong all of a sudden. There's a lot wrong. Damn it. I was having so much fun. Do we have to go there? Can we just, like, not go that way? I think we can. I think we, I think I could honestly just say fuck it to that direction. Okay, but I guess now we have our next location, our next destination. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll get the pickles first. I don't think it matters much, but whatever. Wow, all right, what a recording session. These two episodes, I think, were, uh, were pretty good. Next time, I think it's back to depressing shit. I think, uh, I think how the, the deal is with this is that we'll progress here in, ah, shit, I forgot the name of this area. In our mind, we'll progress here with Amori, and then once we're done with a story arc, we, uh, I, I guess, go through something creepy that jumps us back into reality, and then we're in reality for a bit, and then we confront some sort of fear, and then we come back here for the next arc. Am I somewhat right? I mean, it's not going to repeat too often because we are running out of time here. Three days left until Sunny moves, and... I don't know, Basil seems to be having some problems in reality. I don't know what's going to happen as we continue along, but... It is getting pretty interesting the further that we go. And now that we're done with this little arc, the spiders, the sprout moles, sweetheart... Honestly, I am totally up for whatever the fucking comes next, honestly. Uh, thank you all for watching this session. Luckily, no issues at all. No frames dropped or anything, no lag at all. Not even the occasional, like, the game lags a teeny tiny bit. So, computer issues continue to be a fucking mystery to me. Uh, but regardless, no problems. And I think that's something to really uh, keep in mind here. I didn't mention this in the beginning of the session, but the equipment that I changed out, I actually got everything moved over to a new case with the help of my friend. Got a new power supply loaded up because mine was almost a decade old. God damn. And I got more fans. I Well, I moved all the fans from my previous case over and the case came with a couple. And I also got some RAM. So everything but the graphics card really is what was changed except for, I guess, the motherboard and CPU and all that shit. But the graphics card is probably what needs to be looked into. I'm just hoping that with the changes I made elsewhere, everything gets better and I don't have to keep on bringing this up I at all. I I'm tired of worrying about the performance of my computer, but I guess that's just how it is with owning a PC, especially one that you build yourself. You just never know if it's operating totally fine. It's just always that, that worriness. Uh, but if anything, my computer is now a few decibels louder because of all the fucking fans but at least there is some really good airflow. Like, uh, playing games like this, I mean, absolutely no heat at all to the CPU or GPU. And um, even playing a game like Fortnite, which runs like doo-doo dog shit, but uses a shit ton of the GPU anyways. Um, yeah, I was able to keep it uh, relatively cool. So everything else with the computer, I want to say is great. Graphics card, I don't know. But... Luckily, Amori is my go-to game for testing to see if everything is okay. Everything was fine with this session. I will give that a thumbs up. We'll see how the next one goes. When we, uh, I guess we're gonna go back to reality, which means the next episode's gonna be creepy as fuck. <sighs> I gotta be ready for that one. Thank you all for watching this, or these past two episodes. This one, the previous one of the session. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. And I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy.